Hey guys, so today is officially the first day of Vlogmas and because I didn't have time today to really vlog, I actually had my first day of my new job today and I am kind of exhausted but it's Friday night so I'm going to take the rest of the night to just relax but I do have some footage that I filmed over the week um, of my staycation, my recharge days just before I started today so um, stay tuned for that and I'll be back tomorrow with Vlogmas Day 2. Bye! So today uh, you notice that I am at home and that is because uh, I have a big announcement to make. I left my job. So I put in my notice about a month ago um, and uh, actually the end of this week I will be starting a new job. So I decided to you know take a few days um, just to myself uh, so that I can get used to the commute. I was supposed to do the commute this morning but then we went to bed at like 12 30 last night and um, for my new job, I need to wake up a little bit earlier, like around 6.30 or so. Today, there's a few things that I need to do since I'm not going to do my commute today. Um, I actually need to go to the grocery store and pick up some avocados and maybe some snacks as well. Kind of running low on snacks right now and I eat a lot. So, um, and because I am going to be home for the next few days, I want to stock up on snacks because, yeah, I, I don't have any. And second thing that I need to do is I definitely need to clean the house. Uh, we've been neglecting our cleaning for a little bit, so I need to do some dusting and um, some wiping of the counters and everything like that, do some vacuuming, um, just tidy up everything that is in the closets. I've got a bunch of like film equipment that's just, you know, um, it's been on the floor for so long. And I need to figure out my wardrobe for work as well. So um, I think for my new job, it's a casual uh, dress code. So I'm still thinking of what I should wear on my first day, like, I don't want to be super, super, super laid back. I still want to be professional, but I still want to like show off my style. And so I'm going to plan out my outfits for the work days, for the next few work days until I get a little bit more comfortable in what it actually is. And then I am also going to go through my closet as well and start um, purging things um, just from my closet. So things that I should donate, things that I should throw away. And then after that, I will probably just work on my bullet journal. I'll work on my bullet journal and yeah, just uh, plan out my week as well. Tomorrow I will do my commute. And so this is the top that I'm wearing right now. I noticed that my whole outfit is gray. I, for some reason, when I put on um, this top, I thought I was wearing my pink sweatpants, but I'm wearing my gray sweatpants because I wore my pink ones yesterday. So uh, the top I have is actually from Simon's. I freaking love Simon's, you guys. Like, it's just so awesome. Um, it is a brand new department store that just opened up here in Calgary, and uh, the headquarters or the, like, flagship store is in Montreal. It's a really old department store, but it's very um, on point to all the fashion trends. It's very modern and everything, and it's great. So this shirt um, is usually $15, but I only I got it on sale for five bucks. So I was like, oh my gosh, I can't resist the Frenchies. Cause I've been staring at the shirt every time I go to that store. I used to go to that store quite often on my lunch breaks at work. And I would just stare at the shirt and I'm like, you know what, $15 is too much for me. Um, but then once I saw that they were having a sale on this, I just had to get it. So that is the shirt. It is, it is quite cute. There's upside down Frenchies and then there's right side up Frenchies. Like, what more can you ask for? All right, so I've got my headphones on now. So I'm just going to edit for a little bit and then I will start cleaning. So I finished putting all of my footage into my timeline and my stomach's grumbling and it's 12 2 and it's time for lunch. Um, I could eat some leftover noodles or I could go out. Uh, I don't know but I should actually save money because uh, I won't 
get paid for a while um, after starting my job. So I am going to eat, I think, glass needles and some kimchi for lunch. And then for dinner, I will be eating at my family's house. So yay, I don't need to spend money except to buy groceries. So that's not too bad. So this is my glass noodles and it looks like a very small amount. I should have used a smaller bowl, but um, because these glass noodles were frozen at first and when I took them out, they were like more puffed up and then uh, once they're heated up, they get really soft. And the kimchi I'm using today is from this brand. And uh, we got this from one of the Korean marts here. It's called E-Mart. It's really tasty kimchi. Um, almost out, so you might have to get some more, but I do have more kimchi in the fridge. So I'm gonna have that and then go back to editing. So I finished my editing and now I'm gonna tackle cleaning today. My first task is to clean all these like ledges. I don't know what you call them but they are extremely dusty and I think it's because of the vacuum. You know, when you vacuum, the dust just comes out of like one of the holes of the vacuum. So it just gets everywhere. And then of course, like whatever settles on them, settles on them. So I am going to clean all of that. And then I am going to start cleaning the handles of all the rooms with vinegar. And then I will start cleaning just like all the surfaces, everything. Okay, I'll clean now. I cleaned all the ledges, I cleaned the handles, I even vacuumed a little bit. And here's our couch. Folded all the blankets, put the pillows nicely. I still need to clean our coffee table, but I need to run some errands right now, so I'll do that later. So I did my makeup, and I'm just keeping it really simple today because I'm just running errands and then going to my family's house and walking my dog, so I'm not really doing anything that requires more glam. So today I am wearing Bite Beauty's Movember Multi Stick, which um, isn't too like mauvey. It's more of like a, a redder shade, but I kind I like it a lot. It looks very natural in my cheeks. And then I have ColourPop's um, Ultra Blotted Lip on, um, Doozy yeah, on my lips today. Then some NYX uh, Vinyl uh, Liquid Liner or Vinyl, however you say it. And then I also have the NYX Brow Gel as well. And some concealer from the Tarte Amazonian Clay Stick. I think that's what it's called. So yeah, I'm very simple today and um, right now I'm going to actually head to the uh, Korean Mart to pick up some instant noodles because uh, we are craving instant noodles right now. We um, watched a video the other day, or we watched, we were watching Elf and then um, the scene where Jovi is eating instant noodles while watching the news um, that made us crave instant noodles and then today when we had the miso egg drop soup um, we were like yeah this makes us crave instant noodles so I'm gonna go out and go buy some and then I will buy a bunch of snacks and I will try to take you guys with me I won't be taking this camera though I'll actually just be taking my phone um, which has a pretty decent camera on it and then I can show you guys like what I'm getting and stuff um, it's about 3 30 right now and I have to meet Dana around 5 ish so I'm going to take off now and then I am going to shop for a bit at the Korean Mart. I also kind of wanted to go to Chinook Mall as well uh, because it is Cyber Monday, but it's also the last day for Black Friday deals. And the NYX Cosmetics store has officially opened there and I didn't know about that. I guess I I haven't been there in so long, but apparently it opened up in like this end of the summer beginning of fall so I really want to try to check that out too but I don't think I'll have time today um, but yeah I'm gonna go to the Korean Mart now so um, stay tuned okay, so I am back now at home and I can finally show you guys what we what we got um, or what I got from the Korean store so I got this habanero hot 
spicy chips thing. I've been seeing this around Vancouver a lot and then also in Japan too. So I thought we could give it a try. Apparently it's really spicy. I think the little jalapeno pepper, the habanero pepper, sorry, is so cute just on the front. It's like Halloween. And then um, we got some ramen as well. So I got the that like super hot Korean fire instant noodles but this is like the cheese and chicken flavor so it's a little bit creamier and less hot so it's not too bad so I got two of those and then I wanted to try some other instant noodles as well so I got this rafuki uh, noodle like it's those like rice cake things and this one's spicy as well. This was a little bit cheaper than this one, probably because this one's like so popular. So I'm looking forward to trying one of these um, tomorrow. And then I also got some honey butter chips. These were on sale, I think, for like $3 or something. And I love honey butter flavor, so I can't wait to try these. Then... Um, also got some Pocky as well. So this is the Kumamoto Yasashi something. Can't read in kanji right now. I feel like kanji. Um, it's milk cocoa, so it should taste kind of like coffee or chocolate. Pretty excited for that. And then um, I also got another Pocky, which is this double cheese Pocky. So. Uh, it's not a savory snack. It's actually sweet as well. It's it's chocolate and cheese And I think this is like a limited edition Pocky that um, Is only is sold somewhere in Japan in a specific region So I'm really excited to try this too. This was more expensive. This is like five bucks and then Really excited for uh, Some seaweed salad so I'm just gonna keep it in the bag there so it doesn't like get sticky everywhere. But uh, I tried to get the one of the fresher ones. So I got the one that was made yesterday, but I got a big bulky one. And this goes really well with like anything. It's a great side dish and it goes really well in poke. So probably make that for dinner tomorrow. So we'll probably have this as well. So I got home after dinner and then I got a new toy. Whoop! Welcome home, Google Home! Yay! So excited. What? It fits in my hand. It's Tuesday and it's wardrobe cleaning out day. Oh my gosh. Okay, so when I first moved in here, I like had half the amount of clothes because I did a huge purge. Um, but uh, the last few weeks or so, I've been collecting more clothes because there's so many great deals. So... I need to redo my entire closet here. I try to do it like every few months or so. Like the top shelf here is okay, but I might have to purge some clothes because there's some stuff that's up there. And because it's up there, I don't reach for it. Only the stuff that's at the front here. As you can see, <laughs> there's piles of clothes everywhere. Um, and then the clothes that I hang here are normally my cardigans, my dress shirts, and um, basically like anything that I grab quite frequently. So most of my work clothes will have to be here. Um, and then there's my dresses. There is um, some random shirts. Um, and then there's my like pants and bottoms area. And then like my tank tops. Um, and then just like random stuff like I still have my Starbucks apron from when I used to work at Starbucks a long time ago. And then there's some shorts there as well, jean shorts. Um, and then there's my bag for uh, whenever I go on a trip. Uh, another bag for when I go on a trip. Uh, just a bunch of random bags everywhere because I need bags all the time. And then I've got my jeans on the floor right now because they do not fit in my dresser anymore. They are so bulky, so I need to purge some um, jeans as well because these are back from when I was a teenager like in 2003 I got these jeans and I've never got any more jeans after that because um, 
they just fit me and I didn't really like wearing jeans and there's probably a reason why I didn't like wearing jeans because I had jeans that were so out of style and they were too big for me at the bottom so um, I decided to upgrade. So yeah, don't think you guys can see that, but uh, I did upgrade uh, on the weekend. I went shopping at The Gap and I got some black jeans. I also got some regular jeans and then I got some blue pant legging things. I don't know which one I grabbed. I'm just, I'm just feeling them. So yeah, I gotta clean that side as well. Um, I got some ski pants up there that I bought from Amazon at a really good deal, but I only used them once. And then I got all my like dresses here and my BB-8 hat and my robe. Okay guys, so here's the reveal. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't still look messy, but I did redo the top here. Um, I just folded all of my sweaters and then I put them closer to the front so that I can grab them easier. But I might have to actually get my stool because I'm really short, so. Um, and then I just refolded all of my dresses so now it looks like there's more space in there, which there is. Refolded all of my shirts and stuff and then I brought some of the stuff that was on the shelf down to, um, the cubby here so that I will remember to wear those. And then um, I didn't sort out my pants or anything like that. Pretty much anything down here has been sorted because it doesn't really need to be. Um, there's just so few items there. So yeah, um, and then I did figure out my work outfits a little bit. So my new job has like a, I don't know, my boss just told me that I could wear whatever I like. Um, so I don't really know what that means because I like a lot of different things to wear. So, um, just to be safe on my first day, I will be wearing this green cardigan here. And then I still need to figure out what kind of shirt I want to pair it with. Um, I was thinking of something that is a brighter color, like white. Uh, so I may wear like, I don't know, um, a white t-shirt or something. I'm not too sure. I need to look on Pinterest to see um, some ideas. And then if it's cold that day, I do have backups here. So I can either wear um, one of these sweaters pretty much. So I might go with the blue color just to be safe. And then I would just pair it with uh, some jeans or I might wear it with um, a white skirt as well and then for my second day or whenever I'm thinking of finally taking the shirt out that I got from Simon's and wearing it I probably wear it with some pants and then I also have this white shirt as well so I was thinking that I could wear it um, just underneath a cardigan and then wear it with some jeans and uh, if that's too formal, then I, I I do have like a plaid shirt here that I can whip out as well. And then I do have some other plaid shirts and I do have this jean jacket as well, which uh, I think would be great to wear too. So yeah, I guess I'll just have to see, but yeah, definitely this cardigan will be for my first day. And then I will wear like a nice shirt inside uh, once I figure out. Oh, what that would be and then some jeans so um, yeah I've organized this side mostly and then uh, as you can see down here um, so I did organize my basket a little bit I just reorganized all of the tights and my shirts and I just I did toss um, some things into my um, laundry bag so I can donate those. And then you can see I have my jeans here. And then I, I just pushed all of my bags to the side because uh, I need those bags to be there. Uh, so yeah, and then underneath that in that basket right here, there's actually some clothes that I forgot to wear this summer. So it's just like a, a tank top, a few tank tops and stuff. So yeah, um, that's pretty much organized. I did not touch the other shelf there um, on top of the onesie just because 
that shelf is just for things that like I don't normally would wear anyway, so I'm not gonna touch it, so. It's, I think, about one o'clock right now. I haven't actually looked at my phone or anything. There's no time indicator in this room. Uh, well, actually, yes, there is. I lied. It is 12.54, according to my alarm clock. Um, and so I am going to uh, eat lunch. Uh, I think it's an instant noodle kind of day. Oh, cool. Oh, interesting. Um... Even on camera, these noodles look really, really hot, and they are, but they're not that hot, which is good. So Jen went back to work, and now I'm just at home, just sitting here and being like, hmm, what else should I do? Uh, so yeah, I did mention that I wanted to get some avocados today, so I think I'm going to do that after I watch a few more YouTube videos, just to chillax and stuff. Um, I also need to get some salsa and possibly some cheese but the place that i'm going to is an organic food store called blush lane and it is like really expensive because these avocados are 99 cents each which is a steal so i definitely want to get those from there um and i do need to get soy sauce as well i was going to get soy sauce yesterday but um yeah i didn't so Let's do that today. Right, so I'm back at home now and I picked up a few things from Blush actually. So I picked up three avocados. They're only $2.79 for three. So that is a really good deal. It's usually 99 cents um, and they are on sale. Um, so yeah, not too bad. Saved a few cents. So, and those will be good for today's uh, pokey dinner that I am working on right now. Um, I wanted to get some cranberries, uh, dried cranberries, because uh, I eat a lot of granola and I also eat yogurt and stuff for breakfast. And I want like a fruit to put in there, but I don't necessarily want to put fresh fruit in there. I know that sounds weird, but um, these are on sale for only like a dollar something. So I've never had this brand before. So I, I thought I would give these guys a try. Then I bought two of these like candy things. So this is Heavenly Organics and it's actually a ginger chocolate honey patty made with only three ingredients. So there's raw honey in it and then there's like ginger and then there is chocolate. So I bought two of those. And then I needed to stock up on some gum because um, this is the only gum that I chew right now because it is aspartame free and it's, um, you know, it's more of like a natural gum than the other kind of gums that I used to snack on that have like a lot of like weird chemicals in there. Um, and usually this goes for like almost $6 or $5 a bag and it was only, um, it was only like $3.49. So I've never tried the wintergreen flavor before. Um, I hope it's not too strong because for other gums like Excel, for example, those are super strong. And um, just for comparison, I do also have the pomegranate mint one, which isn't that great. It it tastes kind of not too fruity, but like it's a very weak gum. Yeah. <laughs> 